Welcome to the Daily Airline News with Geoffrey Thomas. Today we've got the world's safest aircraft for 2025, Air Canada offering free drinks to economy passengers, and Cathay Pacific's booming traffic in Hong Kong. All good news. Let's start off with the world's safest aircraft. We have taken Boeing's statistical summary of commercial jet airplane accidents from 1959 to 2023 and updated the data for 2024. Boeing has been issuing the annual report for decades and it tracks all commercial airline flight incidents and accidents. The accident rates in the graphic on your screen are per 1 million departures. It should be noted that some aircraft have not quite achieved 1 million departures and they are noted. The safest aircraft with fatalities or hull losses are the Boeing 717, Boeing 777-300ER, 200LR, the Airbus A380 Super Jumbo, the Boeing 787, the Airbus A350, the Boeing 747-8, Airbus A320 321neo family, the Airbus 220, and the CRJ 700, 900, and 1000, as well as the Airbus A340. All these aircraft are what is termed first and second generation glass cockpit aircraft. In other words, the cockpits are super modern and cut down the workload of pilots. Now we look at the dramatic decline in accidents since 1959. Very impressive by any measure. Every accident leads to improvements in the design and operation of aircraft, as well as crew training. This graphic highlights the various phases of flight and the accident rates with landing, as would be expected, the most dangerous part of the flight. In fact, 43% of accidents occur in the landing phase, with 37% on the runway, with typically runway overrun the principal cause. And let's move on to Canada, and it's great news for Canadians or Air Canada passengers. With the airline extending its free drinks and snacks initiative announced during the summer of 2024 uh, to be permanent, this applies to all economy flights in Canada and also trans border flights into the US. On longer flights, Air Canada already has free drinks for economy passengers. Prior to June this year, Air Canada offered complimentary non-alcoholic drinks in economy with alcohol and snacks available for purchase. Complimentary beer includes Hop Valley, Bremore Springs Premium Lager, Molson Canadian and Coors Light and complimentary wine includes two French wines from Paul Muss. Complimentary snacks include a variety of sweet and savoury options. For those who crave spirits, those are available for purchase for just $5, which is really cheap. Passengers can choose Tromba, Tequila Blanco, Campari, Canadian Club Rye, Bacardi Superior Rum, Bombay Sapphire Gin, Smirnoff Vodka, or Bailey's Original Irish Cream. Sounds like a lot of nice spirits there. And things are on the up and up at Cathay Pacific in Hong Kong, with the airline reporting stellar numbers for November. The airline carried just over 2 million passengers in November, an increase of 23.1% compared to November of last year. The month's revenue passenger kilometres, that's the number of passengers times the distance they travelled, or, or RPKs, increased 25.8% year on year. Passenger load factor, that's the number of passengers on board the aircraft, increased by 3 percentage points to 83.5%, while available seat kilometres, that's the number of seats on an aeroplane times the distance, increased by 21.3% year on year.
In the first 11 months of 2024, the number of passengers carried increased by 27% to a total of 20.5 million against a 31.5% increase in ASKs and 26.7% increase in RPKs, as compared with the same period 2023. Sounds like a lot of really positive numbers to me. Cargo was also up 15% compared with November 2023. Chief Customer and Commercial Officer Lavinia Lau said travel demand was particularly robust on routes to Japan and South Korea, driven by traffic from Hong Kong, as well as Australian and Southeast Asian traffic. Hong Kong itself is also back with a, as a popular destination for travellers from Southeast Asia. Ms Lau added that the group is pleased to have successfully completed its two-year rebuilding journey. Together, Cathay Pacific and Hong Kong Express will reach 100% of pre-pandemic flights from January 2025. Please subscribe to Airline News with Geoffrey Thomas. Please like us. Please leave comments. Love to hear from you. And do tune in tomorrow for another edition of Daily Airline News.